Hey YouTube. Okay, replacing the solenoids on a Dodge Jeep, a Chrysler rear wheel drive automatic transmission. This falls into all the classes of automatic overdrive models. This is your A500, A518, A618, 42RE, 44RE, 46RE, 47RE, and the 48RE Dodge diesel late model trucks. Um, doesn't matter what you're working on, the concept and principles are all almost identical other than a few changes in filter and the pressure sensor itself, wiring connectors, but in essence it's all the same. So we're pulling our pan off, get this out of the way, and just wanted to run through the first thing we see. Now obviously we've got this unit on our side on a bench, so when you're laying underneath and you pull that pan out of your way, first thing you're going to have is an oil mess. So be prepared, throw a sheet of cardboard, maybe a three foot by three foot piece, have a drain pan right there. So basic identification of what we're looking at, here's the driver's side of the unit, passenger side of the unit, again doesn't matter if you're a six cylinder, eight cylinder gas, a diesel, all basically the same. Filter, here's your governor pressure solenoid, here's your governor pressure transducer, in this case which is your 2000 up models, this has the black plastic design. I'm going to move you over here, so you can get a better shot of that so you can see. Okay, here's the black plastic transducer. On your 96 to 99 models, this is going to be a gold um, round canister that's called the pressure sensor. Concept and function is almost the same. They just, in 2000, they went to this transducer type. Up here, you got your overdrive and lockup solenoids on the bracket. I'm going to get the filter out of the way and we'll come back with some more definitions. Okay, back with you again here. Got the filter unscrewed. For you guys that aren't real knowledgeable or don't have a vast array of tools, you can pick it up at any parts store. Uh, the filter bolts are a Torx bit, a T20. Uh, you can get it from Craftsman or anywhere you get your tools, they're all going to have a T20 Torx bit. And you can either use a just a regular driver tip, which is probably the most affordable way to find it. Or sometimes you get them in a T-handle kit, like what I've, what I've shown you here. Okay, filters out of the way. Filter inlet holes here. You can see our wiring harness is routed again to the overdrive and lockup solenoids. Off of those is the pigtail to the governor pressure solenoid and transducer. Uh, the routing is always the same pretty much from 92 all the way up to present day for the harness. They didn't change any directions or anything of how anything's routed here. So, Okay guys, you got the pan off. Governor pressure solenoid, governor pressure transducer. First thing I do, and some guys undo the bolts first, but if you can see what I'm doing, a small flat screwdriver, I use a pick. All I'm doing is there's a lock tab in here. I'm just gently easing that up and this connector will just pull straight out and they they are a little tight you gotta remember this unit has been hot and cold hot and cold so you never want to force it you don't want to break I suppose if you got a new solenoid you don't really care but I don't want to break them a little bit of wiggling not too fond of that always but see it just pops out so that's that one and then over here it's a little bit different setup I just wanted to point it out, I pulled the governor solenoid housing off because this one being hot and cold, this one was a little bit tight, but then I realized this uh, kind of burgundy colored plastic piece here is a retainer. You just kind of depress from the bottom, I'm using a flat screwdriver on the back side, if you can see this here, there's a little tang on there. All I'm doing is raising that gently and then from the front side I'm going to ease it out and what this is is a secondary catch it's kind of like a, a double lock to hold the connection really firm and tight once you get that out depress the big tab on the transducer harness connector here coming from your wiring harness and then she comes right out okay <clears throat> governor solenoid housing aluminum mounted to the valve body here it's got four I'm a metric guy, four 11 millimeter bolts, and then it's got two more T20s here in the corners. You get those off, this whole thing will come off as an assembly and allows you to really work on everything. Now you can do this 
before you disconnect the harness and have it hanging that'll give you a little bit of freedom if you need it just being able you know a few extra eight ten inches of workspace while you're underneath the truck you know, this is a lot easier on a bench than it is laying on your back so so we got the bolts out of our way here and this heat shield is just that it's a heat shield it's going to rotate off what it does if you see this it helps hold and retain the solenoid in tight and it also on the 2000 and up models mind you has a bend in it here that grabs onto that transducer and holds it in place so to get this apart we might need to ease it up there we go again just using a flat screwdriver solenoid comes out of the housing I'm going to take the solenoid off the bracket which it just slides in and out and then our transducer just pulls right out. For putting this back together, you just reverse the steps. Governor, governor solenoid goes into your retainer there. Before you reassemble, you're going to put your transducer into your housing. And they will kind of seat themselves because they've both got O-rings on them. And then as I push the solenoid into the housing, I'm also lining up the retainer for the transducer. The whole thing just snaps together. You can hear it. It's kind of a firm one. Obviously, these are used. Um, but once that's in, you're just going to line everything back up into place. Replace your bolts. Reconnect your harness here and here. That's about it. This whole job shouldn't take you more than... Uh, 25 30 minutes hopefully I didn't leave anything out but please guys email me your questions let me know what I can help with I appreciate you watching thanks